Hey everybody, welcome to week 11. Yeah, week 11. This is just flying by. I can't even, I can't even describe it. It just seems like it's going by so fast. It's crazy. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't, it just seems, it seems so surreal, I guess, the whole thing. Um, anyway, enough of that. I am 11 weeks exactly today. Um, this week was kind of, it was like uneventful and eventful at the same time. Um, I'm sorry, my dishwasher is running. I'm, I bought a really expensive dishwasher because it's supposed to be super quiet, but it's kind of obnoxious. So I'll watch this video back before I post it and make sure it's not too annoying. Um, and this dog's, hey, stop. The dog's drinking and eating. I'm sorry. I know all my videos are like this. I'll watch the video back. Um, and if it's too loud, I'll re-record it. But I'm going to try this anyway. Anyway. Um, symptoms are pretty much the same this week. Nausea. Sore boobs. Fatigue. Um, nothing, you know, too crazy, you know, nothing's like debilitating or anything like that. Um, had a little bit more cramping this week than um, in like in last week and previous weeks, so I just assume that's my uterus growing and stretching. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I did a video the other day um, on our cloth diaper stash. We got our first cloth diapers this week. And we're well on our way to a really good stash. I have another video to do after this with some more cloth diapers and some more baby buys. So be on the lookout for those. Um, I didn't have any days that like really stuck out this week except for um, not yesterday but the day before. I might be crazy. But I swear I felt, may have felt the baby move. It was nighttime after dinner. Um, I was laying kind of like reclined on the couch. And I felt these weird, like, I don't even know how to describe it. I know a lot of people say it's butterflies or like tapping. It almost, it kind of felt like a little, like, rolling, if that makes sense. Um, and I mean, I know it could be gas, but it startled me. Um, you know, Tom was sitting there with me, and I was like, I, like, grabbed my stomach, and I was like, holy crap. And he was like, what, is something wrong? Do you need to go to the hospital? And I was like, I don't think so. And he's like, what's wrong? I was like, something feels weird. And he was like, what do you mean weird? He was all freaked out. And I was like, I think I might have just felt the baby. And he was like, are you serious? And he like came and put his hand on my stomach. I'm like, you're not going to be able to feel it. So it doesn't matter. Um, so I don't know. And I felt something similar one time since. And that was after eating also. Um, so I don't, I don't know. It's hard. You know, this is my first time. So I don't know if it was or not. Um, but the only way I can describe it is I definitely felt something that I have never felt before, and it was very low down, um, you know, uh, in my insides, so I just assumed that that's what it was, but who knows, stay tuned. Um, I'll see if it happens anymore, um, you know, this week or what, what not. Anyway. As far as baby de baby's development goes, the baby is just over two inches long and weighs about a third of an ounce. The body is straightening out now. The torso is lengthening. Hair follicles are forming. Um, fingernails and toenail beds are forming. Um, and the nails start to grow in the next coming weeks. Um, the um, hands and feet are no longer webbed. That ended a few weeks ago, um, so they really look like little hands and feet now. Um, 
you know, and if you were to look um, on ultrasound right now, the the baby would really look, you know, human. It has human characteristics now, which is so cool. Um, and I think the baby's like the size of a plum, I think is what they say now. I think it's a plum. Or a lime. I don't remember. <laughs> Something like that. I didn't write everything down. Anyway, um, I have a doctor's appointment on Friday. It's just kind of my um, big health medical history appointment you know it's supposed to take a while I don't think they'll do an ultrasound um, I don't know maybe they'll listen on the Doppler or something um, but um, you know if anything important comes of that I will definitely update you guys but I'm not expecting um, excuse me I'm not expecting much from the appointment so um, yeah I am, however, going to Aruba on Saturday, going for a week with Tom. Um, so I will definitely try to do my 12-week video um, while I'm there. But if I can't, please forgive me. Um, I will, if for some reason I can't do it, I will make a 12 and 13-week combined video the following week when I come back. Um, but I'm planning to try to vlog if I can, so I will do my best to stay in touch with you guys um, while I'm there. Um, yeah, so sorry, nothing like exciting is going on. I mean, I guess the baby's movement is obviously exciting, but I just don't know if that's what it was. You know, I wish I had had kids or something, and so I could be certain. Um, you know, and every night now after I eat dinner, I like sit really quietly on the couch and kind of like wait and kind of see if I can feel anything. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Um, but I guess that's all I got. I'll give you guys a belly shot and then I'll go make a few more videos and um, yeah, when I get back from Aruba, um, I have my NT scan so that will be... Um, exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time um, obviously I will let you guys know what happens with that and when it is and everything um, so hopefully after that you know and then I have a private ultrasound scheduled I want to say I'm like 16 something weeks um, for an early gender scan um, so that will be super exciting. So that's going to come up really quickly. I mean, I'm 11 weeks already, so the next month or so should be pretty exciting. Hopefully more exciting than this week was. Sorry, I'm so lame. Um, again, nothing's changed. No cravings. Um, you know, like I said in my last video, I'm eating more ice cream. I've been eating some pickles and stuff, but it's nothing like... There hasn't been anything like, if I don't get it, I'm going to kill someone. Like, if I crave something and I can't have it, usually I can find something to substitute it with. That's just fine. Um, so no, you know, crazy cravings or mood swings or anything, you know, out of the norm happening yet. So, but my belly is growing, so I will show you that. If I have room here to stand on my tiptoes. All right, here is 11 week belly. This is kind of a crappy shirt, I think, to show you guys here. Let me try to do this. There we go. 11 week belly from the front. From the other side. Sorry, I'm on my tiptoes and I'm not very good at it. So yeah, that's 11 weeks. So thank you guys for watching my incredibly boring video. Like I said, I'm really sorry. I don't have anything more exciting to report. I'll make a couple of videos right now um, that will hopefully be a little bit more entertaining. And... I will see you guys from Aruba next week. Bye.